We are living in the golden age of space exploration, where the idea of sending humans to other planets goes beyond fiction and becomes a serious discussion. Among these planets, Mars stands out as a potential target for interplanetary colonization. However, before packing your bags and boarding a starship bound for the red planet, an intriguing question arises. Would you get older or younger on Mars? To answer this question, we need to delve into the fascinating world of physics. More specifically, explore the twin paradox, a consequence of Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity. In this paradox, two identical twins are separated. One remains on Earth and the other boards a spacecraft that reaches relativistic speeds. When we talk about relativistic speeds, we refer to speeds close to the speed of light, an unattainable cosmic constant. This speed is crucial for the astronaut twin to experience time dilation in all its grandeur. After 10 years of space travel, the astronaut twin returns to Earth and meets his brother. Surprisingly, the brother who stayed on Earth has aged 20 years while he has aged only 10 years, thanks to the time dilation caused by speed. But before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up to help us bring more content to you. Returning to the video's topic, speed is not the only influence on the passage of time. Gravity also plays a crucial role. At this point, we delve into the heart of the matter. How does gravity affect time relativity? We live in a world where Newton's laws, formulated by Isaac Newton, perfectly describe motion at low speeds and weak gravitational fields. Newton, with his fundamental laws, provided an enhanced understanding of the world around us, but it's essential to note that he was limited to observations made on Earth. Newtonian physics thrives in our everyday lives, where events occur at low speeds and relatively weak gravitational fields. However, as technology advanced, we were able to see beyond our solar system. Powerful telescopes allowed us to glimpse the depths of the universe, and advanced microscopes revealed the intricate subatomic world. Physicist Max Clark contributed to the understanding of electromagnetism, revealing that light is an electromagnetic wave. The limitations of Newtonian physics began to become apparent especially when Einstein questioned Newton's conception of absolute time. Einstein revolutionized physics by proposing the theory of relativity, where time ceased to be absolute and became relative to speed and gravity. Temporal relativity, therefore, implies that time can pass differently for observers in different conditions of speed and gravity. If we transport this concept to Mars, the question arises, would you get older or younger on Mars? To understand this, it's essential to consider that gravity on Mars is significantly lower than on Earth. Temporal dilation caused by gravity is also lower on the planet Mars. After understanding this, let's get to the answer to the question we just posed. Let's assume you travel to Mars and your twin brother decides to stay on Earth. After 10 years, upon returning, you would notice that you have aged slightly less than your brother who remained here on Earth. And this difference, when calculated considering only gravity, would be approximately 0.04 seconds. Such a minuscule difference that it would be practically imperceptible. So, if you were willing to be one of the first colonizers on Mars, the difference in the passage of time would be minimal. The time machine, in reality, would be a rocket travelling at speeds close to light or simply staying in a place with an extreme gravitational field. Temporal relativity leads us to realise that time is a malleable entity that bends and stretches according to the conditions in which we find ourselves. Time machines, once relegated to science fiction, reveal themselves as possible in our universe, depending on the conditions in which we place ourselves. And so, the intriguing question of getting older or younger on Mars leads us to contemplate the wonders of physics and the understanding that time is relative. In the end, the journey to Mars unfolds not only as an interplanetary journey, but also as an incursion into the complexity of time and space. If you had the opportunity, would you accept the mission to be one of the first inhabitants of Mars? What would you miss most here on Earth? Share your opinions in the comments. 
don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention and until the next journey through the cosmos.